Good morning, my friends. I'm Clover. This is Gas, Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and this is Hashtag Sudoku, posted by Philip Newman on August 25th, 2024. Let's have a look. So, we have normal Sudoku rules. So we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3x3 three three region. And then also we have these gray hashtag lines and along each of these um, four intersecting lines, digits can't repeat. So for example, in all of these pink cells, we have to have a complete set of distinct digits from one through nine once each because digits can't repeat anywhere in those cells because this gray line passes through them. So let's have a look. So the first thing that stands out to me here is that I have one, two, four, and eight in the corners in this region. And then three and seven also can't go in these three cells, so they must go in these two cells. There's already a seven on this line, so that's going to be a three, and then our seven is placed here, making these digits five, six, and nine. Now five already appears on this line, so that can't be a five. There's a six in the column here, so that cannot be a six. Okay, let's do a little bit more Sudoku here. So threes are here and here, so three is in one of those cells. Sevens are here and here, so sevens are in one of those cells. Uh, we have a four here and a four here, so four is in one of those. And we have an eight here and an eight here, so eight is in one of those. Okay, that wasn't quite as fruitful as I, as I expected it to be, but let's see what else we've got. I think the lines are starting to fill in a little bit here, so let's see if we can fill these lines in with some of our remaining digits. So we still need two, five, six, and eight along this line. These guys can't be eight since eight is down here, so these are two, five, and six. Along this line, we still need 1, 4, 6, and 9, and 4 can't be in those cells. So these are 1, 6, and 9. Okay, so that's also not revealing anything per se. So we haven't quite stumbled upon the right thing to work on here yet. Ah, I see something now. So 5 can't go here, so that's going to be a 5. That's potentially useful. Those One of those will be a 5. Um, I've got 1s here and here, so there's going to be a 1 here. Okay. Sevens here and here, and so on. Hmm, okay, let's see. This is a bit of a tricky one. So what do we still need? So in this column, we need two, four, six, eight, and nine. Maybe that'll give us something. So eight can't be in those cells because there's already an eight on this hashtag line. So eight will definitely be in one of these cells. These also can't be two or four. Ah, and this also can't be six because of the six in that region. And in this line, we're going to need a 3, 6, 8, and 9. And these can't be 8. There's definitely an 8 in one of those. That can't be a 6, and so on. What am I missing? This is actually my first solve of this particular puzzle, so you're seeing kind of my first impressions of this one. And I am finding this to be a surprisingly tricky gas puzzle. I look forward to, to figuring out how this eventually cracks. So what do I need in this row then? I need a uh, one, a two, a four, and an eight. Those can't be eights, those can't be fours. Interesting. One of those is going to be a three, one of those will be a seven, we've got that already. Nine can't go here because of the nine right there. All right. Fours will go in those cells. Come on, Clover. Get it together. So eights are either here or here and then here, which means that one of these cells is an eight, um, just to put an eight in region seven or in region eight. So that will be a one eight pair. That's kind of interesting. Um, these guys have to have a four because four can't be in those cells. So there's a four in one of these two, and then there's also a four here, meaning four goes here or here. And we already worked out that five goes in one of those, so that will be a four five pair, which is also kind of interesting. Okay, these will be, ah, uh, okay. One of these has to be a six now, because that's the only possible two positions for six in region two. 
So I can't place a six there. So that's a three nine pair now. So that's a six eight pair. That makes this a nine. It makes this a six. Now that's going to be two and four. These will be three seven and nine. Okay, now we're going somewhere. So these will also be three seven and nine. That can't be a three and that can't be a nine. We'll finish off this hashtag line now. So we have two, four, six, and eight. We have one and five and we have three. So we still need seven and nine, which will go in those two positions and we can finish this. And that rules out a seven from here. So we can now place a seven. Now, okay. Can we get anything going kind of horizontally here? I kind of don't think so. That's not going to be a seven. Ah, okay, so where does eight go in region nine? There are a lot of these kind of pointing digits here where we need to identify multiple positions where a digit can appear and then use that before we can actually place the digit to make further deductions. So eight is going to go in one of these cells because there's nowhere else it can go in this region. So that will now be a one and an eight. Now nine can only go here in this region. In this row, I need one, five, six, and seven, and those can't include a seven. That was a little bit messy. That can't be a seven because of the seven in the column. So there's my seven. And there needs to be a five in one of these. Ah, there can't be a one in one of these. I wonder if that's what I was missing earlier. So this is a two, eight pair now. So these can't include two, that's a five, six pair. Ah, and there's a two there, so these can't include two. I think that must have been what I was missing when I was kind of struggling with this earlier. So if you spotted that quicker than I did, kudos, very well solved. Now these will be one, two, and four to finish this row. That has to be an eight because there's a five, six pair in the row, and that similarly will be a four. These will be a one, two pair, and these will be five, six, and eight. Five can't go there, so five goes there. And these will be one, three, and eight. And the eight only has one position. I need to place a two and a four. Can't quite do it yet, but we'll get there. Three is ruled out of that cell, so that's my three, which resolves the one, three. Now one is in one of these cells. So that will now be a four and a one. And this is going to be my one for the row. Okay, just finishing up here doing a little bit of classic Sudoku. These can't be five because of the five there. So that will be a five, which will resolve this five, six. The nine here resolves this six, nine pair. These are gonna be one, two, and seven. And that two and eight takes care of this. That will be a four, an eight, and a three, six, and an eight, and five, nine, and six, six and five. And that is how you solve, although that was a little bit of a clumsy solve, and I do apologize for that. I hope that you still got some information out of that. But that is how you solve Philip Newman's hashtag Sudoku from August 25th. If you enjoyed that, try it yourself in the description below this video. And I will see you again in three days time.